Well, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to create a new company file in uh, QuickBooks Desktop. So I'm at the uh, home page screen here. So you go to File and then select New Company. The the this the process is still the same if you are downloading a new QuickBooks file. So it, it still goes to the same thing. Uh, so this, in this case, I already have a home screen page here. So let's click new company. Okay, so even if you're installing a new software, everything goes through the same process uh, when, when you're creating a new company file. So here's the express start. You can just click this one, express start and it will ask you for some basic company information. Let's just say this one is uh, so let's say this is in consulting business the professional consulting and let's say the company type is sole proprietorship and uh, uh, the tax ID is either your social security number or you may even have an EIN, EIN number so if you don't have EI, EIN number you can just plug in your social security number here like this and let's say you are a corporation so at that point you, you will definitely will have an EIN number like this and they ask do you have employees and for some reason uh, you are having trouble with uh, selecting industry you can you can come here and help you choose it will list all the industry here and uh, so here's, here's the one I picked here it's professional consulting and all this does is it will uh, help to create chart of accounts, the company chart of accounts for you and uh, uh, most likely into also keeping track of your uh, statistic by industry too. So right now this automation you need and just click continue. Okay, so now you put in your, uh, your company address. As you have noticed in the screen, the required field is just the zip code and the phone number. Uh, so in, in case you, you don't have any information, you can just leave it open and you can uh, create a company file and you can uh, enter this later on as well. There's nothing harm done so far. These are all basic information. Even if you select a wrong industry or wrong name or wrong address, don't worry about it. You can fix it later on. So now ready to create company file. This all have to do is click this one. So it goes through some process. So it takes about a uh, few few minutes. So it could be less than a minute since this is a new one. So here we go. So uh, the one thing good about QuickBooks Desktop is you can create uh, as many company files as you want. Uh, it's just like creating uh, all kinds of files in you know, Excel spreadsheet. It's the same thing. You create files, you just save it on desktop. That's about it. 
uh, whereas in QuickBooks Online, you can create just one company file per subscription. So if you want to create another company file, you have to pay for it and you need to add another subscription. So in QuickBooks Desktop, you can create as many company you want. You just buy one software, that's it. Okay, so now at this point, you can just say start working or you can import uh, your uh, data like your customer data, vendor data, that kind of stuff. Uh, you can do that later on too. And uh, it's the same thing with this one. This one normally you may not have any information. So if you are uh, transferring from uh, uh, old QuickBooks to this new QuickBooks, they may still have this information. So you can you can uh, transfer all this information later on too. And if you want to do online banking, this is the time to add, or even this one, you can add it later on. No harm done. All right, so let's just get started and start working and we'll handle all these later on. So start working. So right here, now it's all ready to go. And here's your home screen page. And uh, all with this at this point, we create a company file and enter some uh, company information. And for some reason, you want to go back and change it. All you have to do is go to company and select my company. And on the right side, you will see a small uh, pencil and just that's your edit button and just edit and save and then you're ready to go again. Okay, so this is your home screen now and at this point you'll see here's your home page here and then on the right side you have a chart of accounts and then you have items and services. So chart of accounts, this is where you list all your accounts as you can see here, it says say view and modify your QuickBooks account, like bank account, your income account, and expense account, and items and services. Those are the ones. It's like a product list. It'll just the item code, and that will uh, map to your chart of accounts right here for income account. If you're invoicing it, uh, and if it's like a product type. It will map to your chart of account income as well as your cost of goods sold. So this is like a, your uh, product code. And when you're doing invoicing, you will select your product code here. So, so in order to get here, you can use right here, item services, chart of account, or you can go to your list and you will also see chart of accounts here and item list. And then you have, a, so you're ready to go. So all you have to do is in this example, you just want to create invoices. So just click this one, create invoices. And uh, the next time, in the basic difference between create invoice and sales receipt right here. So create invoice, it will say, bill your customer and receive the payment letter. So you bill now and send out the your uh, invoice and then they will make the payment later on with terms like net 30 days, net 15 days, or net 10 days, whatever terms you offer to your customer. So that's what it is. And and sales receipt, so you bill your customer and receive the payment at the same time. So you got you you got the payment at the same time at the time of your invoice or billing. So that's what it is. Create sales receipt. And uh, so if you invoice it, once you receive payment, you just select your receive payment button here. So this will record your payment. So it's a record your payment you have received from a customer against an invoice or billing statement. So when you create in invoice, you, you're also creating your uh, accounts receivable, your outstanding receivable for your invoices and uh, you also recognizing your your income part so when you when you go through this 
it will create uh, your uh, your income account and also create your customer receivable account or AR account and if it's for products map to uh, your inventory it will also take out inventory at a time of invoice, invoicing it will reduce inventory and the cost side goes to cost of goods sold uh, that's your PL side okay so once you receive payment you just click it here and then at this point you can directly send the payment to the bank or you can send it to undeposited funds so the difference between sending to undeposited funds and directly to bank account is it, it depends upon how you deposit make your deposits to the bank if you have a bunch of checks you're holding it and you're making one deposit slip then you will go to receive payments and then select undeposited funds account and then you record deposit and then you're basically transferring from undeposited funds to your bank account and the deposit slip will match your your uh, transfer from your undeposited funds account so basically that's what you have to do on the customer side and on the uh, vendor side when you write a check all you do is come here and write a check it'll just take out money from your bank account write check right here and uh, if you are entering bills and you're going to pay later on this is it right here just like you're in creating invoices to your customer and this one the other way opposite side you're entering bills and you're going to pay it later and then when you're ready to pay just click here and will take out money from your bank account. So this is your basic uh, creating company file and how you handle it. And we'll go all, all details on next chapter. So that will deal with uh, creating invoices, how to create invoices and how to receive payment and how to make deposit, bank deposits here. So, so this is part one and uh, uh, check out part two that will give you more details about the, the next chapter. Thank you. Bye.